Hey, this is Evan Woodbury with Go Vols Extra in the Knoxville News Sentinel with a quick reporter's notebook. Tennessee coach Butch Jones challenged his team, challenged his offensive line all week uh, to get more physical after a disappointing loss at Missouri. But on Saturday against number seven Auburn, it was really more of the same, more of what we've seen the last two weeks. And I think the probably the most discouraging thing for Tennessee and and the defense especially is that there does seem to be kind of a template or formula for beating them on on defense. We've seen the running get running game be real strong. Tennessee is the, the worst in the league in, in run defense, but so many of those yards are coming from mobile quarterbacks. And Nick Marshall of Auburn was just the latest to take advantage of it. Uh, certainly an area that, that is going to be exploited, exploited for the rest of the season unless Tennessee comes up with a way to fix it. If you're looking for more positive stuff from Saturday's game, there was some of that, although not a whole lot. Uh, one thing I think you would probably notice the development of Tennessee's receiving core with new quarterback Josh Dobbs, Pig Howard, shown here, and uh, Marquez North have been at the top of the target list the last two games. Uh, Marquez North was close to a couple of game-changing plays, and I think that's something they're definitely going to try to foster and develop for the rest of the season with Dobbs at the helm. And I think there was a change in Dobbs because this guy here, Nate Peterman, uh, is back to being healthy. Riley Ferguson is also healthy. So rather than just uh, just Dobbs alone, which was probably the case at Missouri or, or certainly the only one they felt really comfortable with from a health standpoint, now he does have some two backups. They can run him a bit, little bit more. He did get 50 yards on the ground, which is 50 more than they would have had uh, with less mobile quarterback. But I think that's a game that an area of the offense that can probably be developed even further from here. As far as where Tennessee goes from here in the short term, there's an off week. Uh, which probably comes at a good time. They are banged up and bruised. Uh, but you know, Butch Jones said he would like to get back on the field as soon as possible to get the, the bad taste out of the mouth from that last game against Auburn and really the three-game losing streak in which they've been routed in all three games. But Tennessee will finish by hosting Vanderbilt on November 23rd. Vanderbilt has played really well, including a win last week at Florida. And then they go to Lexington November 30th for Kentucky. Tennessee has to win both those games, go two for two, to finish the season 6-6 six and six and then make a bowl game. And we'll be projecting some of the SEC bowls again, updating our projections and looking at where Tennessee might end up this week on Go Vols Extra. You can always follow my stuff there or on Twitter at Tennessee Beat. Thanks for watching.